Okay, so in this video, I'm just going to be doing a tier list on all the Update 5 weapons because uh, I don't know if there's gonna be, uh, anyone new starting and they don't know uh, the, like, the, um, how good a weapon is or isn't. So, uh, we're going to do this. Um, let's start with the Kraken Greatsword. Now, this weapon is actually really, really good. The, um, the Slayer Cross Slash has uh, Hyper Armor and can't be cancelled. And if you have a M1 build, it actually does really, really good damage. So I'm gonna put this actually in great tier. I don't think it's the best, but it's pretty good. Um, Cupid's Axe. Uh, I don't know how to feel about either of the Cupid's weapons, honestly, because they're both kind of mid. They're kind of janky. It, the the get over here move is it, it works really weird. And Decimation, I don't see when you would ever really use it. I'm just going to put it in mid, and that's going to be that. Uh, Santa Bells, we can agree this is ass. It has no range, and the only move it has is a heal move. This is only used for if someone's like running away in PvP arena, and you just need to heal up. And even then, I would still say Cupid's One is better for that, because it has at least an attack move. Uh, by Sento next, I don't think it's great. The... But like the the shockwave slash move, I think it's called. It's okay. It can get people off for you, and a lot of people don't actually know that's a block breaker. They just block it blindly and then get punished by it hard. And then the the spinny, uh, like the circle, the uh, the sweep thing, whatever it's called, heavy sweep. I don't know. It's it's kind of just mid. It's it's an okay sword. It's not. Actually, I wouldn't I wouldn't put it in mid tier. I'll just put it in good. It's good. It it could be a lot worse. It has good M1 damage and good range. Candy cane. Candy cane's pretty good. Pretty actually really good actually. Flash freeze is I'm pretty sure it works off of um, a full M1 combo. And then sweet tree just a heal move. I don't think it's one of the best weapons, but I think it's a really good weapon. Uh, Cutlass. I've been seeing a lot of people using Cutlass recently. And to be honest with you, it, I would say it's still one of the best weapons. Even after the nerf, I would still say it's one of the best. It's really good. Especially, in my opinion, especially with Magu or Mera, or first like that. Or like just burn damage troops in general, in my opinion at least. Uh, next toward Hollow Fang. Hollow Fang. I've never been good with it. I've never been a fan with it. But I know it can, like, crazy, crazy stuff can be done with it. So, with that in mind, hmm. the, th the thousand slashes can be confirmed off of just a full M1 combo by jumping on them and then doing that. Um, I don't think it's great because of the r lack of range and M1 damage. I'll put it in good tier. I'll put it above percentile, honestly. I don't, I don't know why I'm trying to order these. It doesn't matter. They're all, if they're in the tier, they're like the same. Um, flowers, I feel like flowers is terribly downplayed. Besides flowers, my that move kind of sucks. It uses stamina to regain stamina. Like, like that. What the fuck is the point? Um, the flower attract move is actually really good. It's just a free extender. I'll honestly put this in great tier. Uh, Knight's Gauntlet, I can't see it being that good. The slam move and just the lack of range, I don't think it's gonna be all that. It'll be okay. It's better than the Battle Axe, from my opinion, at least, but it's okay. Uh, you can't really see it in this picture too well, because the pictures of Gravity Blade I found weren't that good. But uh, Gravity Blade, honestly, it's really good. Especially if you're good at parrying or uh, guard breaking consistently, you can get a ton of damage off with the multi-slashes move. Especially if you have Zushi, so even if you make like the slightest um, miss in doing the slashes, because of like um, the passive with it, with Zushi, it'll suck the enemy in. Alright, uh, Gravity Blade, I'll put it, is a good weapon. I don't think it's great, I think it's good. G-Hook. It's a short range weapon, and the M1 scaling is kind of weird. But actually, because of the damage output on like the, the suck move, wait, on the um, dehydration move, I would put it, I would put it at good. I think this is a good sword. I think it's really good. Uh, J-Scythe, 
J Scythe is one of the best weapons in the game, if we're honest. It has really good range, really good damage, two really, really good moves. Easily one of the best swords in the game. Um, Kiribachi, it's okay. It's slow as fuck. And the moves are kind of weird to land. But it's not terrible. It could be a lot worse. Lancer. Lancer is so good. I see so many people using it now. It's just so ridiculous. Especially if you have like Fishman Tori. You can do that cringe combo. I'm not even going to say it. Because if there's a Fishman Tori watching this who has Lancer. I'm not telling you the combo. Because you don't need to know this. Because it's bullshit. It's one of the best weapons. Let's get real. Let's be painfully honest here. Um, Cupid Wand. It's mid. It's mid. It heals. And that's about it. It has an attack move. So it's better than Bell's. But that's about it. Uh, Paul. It has two barrage moves. One of them guard breaks. One of them doesn't. It's okay. It's not bad. It's not good. Well, it, it's not... Fuck. It's not great, but it's not bad either. So, it, it's good. It's okay. It's not bad. It's it's passable. Uh, I've just lumped every katana as the CB's katana. And their ass. Without 2SS... Their ass. Like, there's no reason that you use it, like, use it over something. This is uh, assuming you don't have 2SS, by the way. This is assuming, like, you just have points in the sword, no 2SS. So, it's ass. There's no reason to use a thing with no moves. Like, even Bells is probably better. Well, actually, Bells has shit range. So, no, I actually, I still say Bells, but a good deal. Anyways, uh, another update 5 weapon, Moria's Scissors. I honestly think it's not going to be one of the best, but I think it's going to be really good. It looks like it, uh, it'll be pretty interesting. It's good range. Good, uh, good scaling and all that jazz shield is ass shield is fucking dog shit shield is terrible shield is miserable if you use shield i don't know what to tell you if you're weird and you need to stop it's just bad it's just so bad it's so bad there's no reason to use it uh fucking what is that shoe sweet i don't think it is um shoe sweet honestly doesn't look that good it's not bad but it's not really that good either I think it's better than everything in mid. So actually, I'll put her up below. New. No. You know, you don't get it. You don't get it. She sweets. It's okay. Fuck, I can't. It's okay. Um, Soul Cane. Soul Cane is going to be so good. Soul Cane is gonna be horseshit. Y'all have seen the freeze move. Y'all already know, this is about to piss some people off when that comes out. I will be using Soul Cane constantly. That is going to be such a good weapon. And last uh, last but not least, Trident. Trident's really, really good. Trident's better than everything in good tier. Or no, good, gr fuck, great tier. Uh, I would use Trident. I'd say Trident is it good. Where's Elo Hammer? I forgot Elo Hammer. Oh, well, oh, fuck. If I had Elo Hammer on here, it would be in the best. It does a million, like, it does so much damage off of Pounding Festival and Elo Smash. It's just so good. But, uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, yeah, like I said, Elo Hammer would be in the best here. Uh, thank, uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, please subscribe. Uh, like the video. Comment down below if you would move anything around. Uh, I just want to see what you guys think. Uh, we're about to hit monetization, which is really cool. Thank you guys a lot. If you're subscribed right now, I appreciate you. Like, none of that bullshit, like, like clickbait YouTube stuff, like, oh my god, guys, thank you so much. We're about to hit X million subscribers. No, like, like genuinely thank you. Because YouTube has been a dream for me for a long time, and it's crazy that we're actually doing it. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys.